how to take care of your mouse pad. Now you may think of a mouse pad as something that you really don't have to take care of or something you don't really have to manage, but I can promise you if you don't take care of your mouse pad over the course of six months to a year, it's gonna be pretty nasty, maybe even sooner, especially if you eat or drink around it. So we got some do's and some don'ts before we get into how to clean your mouse pad. I am not a fan of using soap and water on the mouse pad. I have a set of three things that I do. This is gonna sound crazy. What's up today, YouTube? How you guys doing? Thanks so much for stopping in. Let's dive right into today's video. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check me out on all socials for the live streams, Twitch, TikTok, as well as Facebook and YouTube, all socials, Twitter, Instagram, Acrylics, the one and only. Got the website right there on the screen. Acrylics, the one and only for all your gaming merchandise and it supports the channel. And if you enjoy the content that I'm providing to you guys on YouTube, you can become a member at any time to support the channel. Let's dive right into today's video and that is how to take care of your mouse pad. Now you may think of a mouse pad as something that you really don't have to take care of or something you don't really have to manage. But I can promise you, if you don't take care of your mouse pad over the course of six months to a year, it's gonna be pretty nasty, maybe even sooner, especially if you eat or drink around it. So we got some do's and some don'ts before we get into how to clean your mouse pad. Number one, do not eat on your mouse pad. Crumbs will always make it there, no matter what. Number two, no drinks near the mouse pad. You need to have a drink while you're playing games, try to do it away from the mouse pad. Every time you spill something on it, it's gonna take 10 times longer to get it off, and then you have to dry it, and you can't use it while it's wet. That didn't sound right. But you can't use it while it's soaking wet after cleaning it, so it makes no sense to eat and drink around it. Those are some no-nos. Another thing is do not dust off equipment around the mouse pad without covering it up. Dust will get on the mouse pad. It'll be impossible to get it out microscopic dust particles and hair will end up getting in the weaves of the mouse pad and then you'll feel it on your hand when you're sliding your mouse around it gets very annoying especially if you're using an arm based mouse pad like i am my mouse pad is 50 by 30. i'm an arm player pretty much almost my entire desk is a mouse pad so if you're playing like that which i highly recommend do not eat or drink near your mouse pad otherwise you're just gonna get stuff all over it and it's not going to be pretty now i don't have any footage of my mouse pad dirty because i cleaned it the other day not knowing i was actually going to do this video if you start to notice that your mouse pad's looking chalky wherever your arms and hands have been and you try to wipe it off and it doesn't get clean I am not a fan of using soap and water on the mouse pad. I have a set of three things that I do. This is gonna sound crazy. So let's dive right in. First things first, you have to get yourself a microfiber cloth, one that's not gonna leave any material behind. And I just so happen to have an automotive channel and I'm an automotive enthusiast. I use automotive cloths because they leave nothing behind. If you wanna check my automotive channel out, it's right there on the screen, Driveway Demons approaching 20 million views over there. You take your automotive cloth or your lint-free cloth, and I highly recommend automotive because they're meant for a lot more strenuous stuff so they won't rip or leave anything behind when you're cleaning computer stuff or peripherals, monitors, and whatnot. Rubbing alcohol, 91% or higher. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I don't know if you can see this. Right here, there's like a, a little bit of white chalkiness. You're just gonna rub up and down with rubbing alcohol like this and use a toothbrush if need be to get everything off of the mouse pad. This right here will just suck the dirt right from the top of the mouse pad. We're gonna do this a little bit more. So I got the rubbing alcohol here. You can see right there, there's like a little bit of white, not as dark as the rest of the pad. And you're just gonna rub over it. And the rubbing alcohol will soak in, the light to wipe away all that dirt. And the good thing about rubbing alcohol is that 91% specifically is going to evaporate pretty quick. When I blow on it, you'll see it evaporate. See that in the camera? It's evaporating pretty quickly when I blow on it. And it's going to take all that dirt and debris from the top of the mouse pad off. All right, guys. Do you see that? That's the dirt where I was pressing with my finger. 
That is crazy how much dirt came off that one little spot even two days after cleaning the mouse pad. You can imagine how much dirt is on your mouse pad if you haven't cleaned it in more than a month. What you're going to be left with now is a mouse pad that is still looking pretty chalky, but is clean. The reason, and no one really thinks about it because it's not really talked about, mouse pads are actually coated with a type of lubricant protectant, almost like an armor all for your car or an oil that helps keep them slick and smooth and moisturized, almost like you would suede or leather. I don't recommend using armor all per se because it'll get pretty greasy and that's just a little too much. So what I recommend is a leather cleaner like Meguiar's Leather Detail. Now this sounds crazy, but this stuff is non-greasy and non-oily, keeps things moist and somewhat slick. This is as close as you're ever going to get to like a sofa or leather conditioner for interior upholstery and i think it's better because it's meant for automotive so because you use this on your car seats it's probably not going to wear off your mouse anytime soon i've been using this for three years and i noticed that when i was using other products prior it was taking like no more than a week or two to really start making the mouse pad look old and crusty when using this i'm going like six months in between you know sprays it's a really good product like i said it's not greasy and i'm gonna film and show you what the mouse pad looks like right now while i'm doing it and then i'll show you the whole mouse pad now that i've finished cleaning it this spray and you're gonna do some light overlapping sprays like so and then we're gonna rub it in and just to let you guys know this stuff smells incredible it makes everything have that new smell. It's not a chemical smell either. It's a very fresh smell. Like it's just really good. Look at the difference in the mouse pad already. It's just because it's not moisturized. When you're using the rubbing alcohol to clean it, you're taking out all the moisture and over time the moisture depletes anyway. Mouse pads really starting to come together. We're gonna do some more moisturizing right in here. Okay. Let this spread out. Key here is to spray while you're wiping or to put it on your cloth. This way you can make sure it's evenly spread on the mouse pad. This stuff also cleans too, believe it or not. So on the surface of the mouse pad, when you're doing this, you're also gonna be collecting any remaining dirt and debris. Usually you let your mouse pad sit for about 15, 20 minutes before you use it. It's not like water, it's not, it's, you know, like it's not water or soap. It's not gonna stay wet for days or hours even. It's going to start to dry up pretty quick as far as the moisture. The third step, you may not think this is right, but it is. Meguiar's tire shiner is what I use because it's really good. You wanna use tire shiner on the bottom of your mouse. Uh, and this may sound, you know, insane, but it's not. The reason we use this is because when you spray a little bit on, just like I'm doing right now, it foams up and it turns into like an oil. Basically like any other oil you would use to, to lube something up or make something slick. The thing is, is that with automotive stuff, it doesn't wear off very quickly at all. This stuff is meant for outdoor tires and the elements. So it's gonna stay in the bottom of your mouse for probably days on end, maybe more, maybe weeks. I've noticed that my mouse stays pretty slick for a very long time. Like I haven't done this probably in, I don't know, four months. It just lasts a while. So you wanna rub it on there, let it sit, buff it off, and you will notice when doing this. Like I said, this may seem like a joke, but it's not, trust me. You're gonna wipe it off. The feet are so slick right now, they're like literal ice. And it will stay like that for quite some time. As long as your mouse pad stays moisturized like I just showed you how to do, it's just gonna glide over the mouse pad. Like for example, like, like it just slides right across the mouse pad. Like so easy, like I'm barely even touching. Look how slick that is. I'm gonna blow. Hey, come on now. That's how slick this is. Like, it's so easy to move the mouse when it's clean. It, it's really the best way to take care of your mouse pad. Be sure to check out the store, Acrylics, the one and only, right there on the screen. And follow me on all socials for live game streams, specifically Twitch and TikTok. And you can become a member to support the channel right here on YouTube at any time. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Fun fact, Australia is actually wider than the moon. The moon sits 3,400 kilometers wide or 2,113 miles in diameter, while Australia's diameter from east to west is almost 4,000 kilometers kilometers 2485 miles goodbye you're still here well thank you for sticking around for a while
The videos are great and you just want to see more content. Well, you know what? You're in luck because I curated some perfect content just for you. And it's right there. I think you're going to like this one just as much, maybe even more, because my videos are all good, right? Every last one of them are purely epic. So right there, click that video and we'll see you guys on the next one.